and welcome to this London Tech Week Fast Chat. Uh, my name is Rob McCargo and I'm PwC's Technology Impact Leader. And I'm delighted to be joined by two of my colleagues from PwC, Louise Liu, who's our Head of Metaverse Projects, and Samuel Aluko, who's a manager from our financial risk practice as well. So welcome to you both for this conversation. I'm really excited to have you here today. So I just wanted to set the scene, first of all. We're at a really extraordinary inflection point in history, driven by emerging technologies uh, such as metaverse, augmented reality, virtual reality, and most recently, generative artificial intelligence. And the opportunities this offers for business and for impact on society is really quite extraordinary. And I think the impact it has also is about harnessing this for the benefit of the purpose of your organization to lead from the front in a way that demonstrates the values, that demonstrates the ethical conduct, that demonstrates how you put your customer first, and also in enhancing the experience of your workforce as well. So what we're going to be talking about today is the way that PwC have been harnessing emerging technologies to really um, look at how do we sort of put the purpose of our people at front and center to solve some of the most intractable problems facing business and society and how this is helping our clients at the same time as well. So to start things off, um, a question first of all to Louise, can you just maybe explain how we're using technology for good purposes here at PwC? Thanks, Rob. So, we are using lots of technologies uh, within PwC, for example, VR, AR, blockchain, AI, robotics, and so on. And we use the technology within the firm to help our workforce, how we can train them to work more efficiently, but also how we are helping them with understanding technology and how it works and how they can actually talk to their clients about this. So it's been quite an exciting opportunity to be in this role and using all this different emerging technologies to help our, our workforce, but also helping our clients. Thanks, Louise. And, and, and Sam, coming to you next again, how this is coming to life in the work you do, both within the firm and also more broadly for our clients, how are you seeing the impact of these emerging technologies start to have an effect? Yeah, sure. Um, great to be part of this conversation, Rob. Um, it really is transforming the way that we can visualise risks, um, especially in my part of the business. So really helping clients immerse themselves within different environments and visualise the way different um, risks impact um, the business at present and potentially in the future as well. And also using some of this technology to reimagine ways of mitigating those risks. Um, you know, we've seen it in sort of automation and, and transformation of various sorts in, in loads of um, purpose-driven spaces as well, such as ESG and inclusion. So it's been really interesting. Very good. Now, um, I, I should say my, my son's recently had a birthday and he's got the latest virtual reality headset. Um, there's some phenomenal opportunities we've seen around gaming. And now with the advent of moving into this more metaverse uh, experience, uh, the opportunity is at a really interesting tipping point as well, Louise, isn't it? Now, what I was keen to understand is going beyond that more traditional approach of using these technologies in more of a consumer market. Can you maybe just walk us through how we brought this to life in a particular workforce example within PwC? Yes, of course. Um, so what we did was look at how we can bring um, ethnicity, um, microaggression, those type of issues within the workforce and training our workforce to work together more cohesively. Um, so we started a project called In My Shoes and it's a character where you were in stepping the shoes. You put the headset on, you actually have their thoughts in your head, you hear them and you see what you what they see as well. So it's quite a immersive um, experience, but also emotional as well. So we wanted to actually bring that in and make sure that the user going through the experience really feels what that person's feeling what, um, and what they're seeing as well in that environment. So we actually created this within PwC and that's it's something that we're um, rolling out um, to train the whole workforce within PwC UK. I've, I've had experience of it. It's a phenomenally powerful experience to go through, Louise. And uh, Sam, I'd love to hear how you got involved in this and what role you played within shaping this product was. Yeah, sure. Um, so it was around the time of the um, George Floyd incident um, in 2020. And um, we were brainstorming in our multicultural network, which is one of, um, P at the time, was one of PwC's official people networks. 
um, just brainstorming ideas in terms of how we can, you know, have conversations about inclusion in, in new ways and reach new audiences, potentially than, you know, people that have historically been a bit more bought in. And um, and a sort of idea came up around, um, you know, leveraging some of our um, metaverse technologies and our technology capabilities to marry that conversation with inclusion to potentially draw, you know, new audiences in through the technology angle. And um, sort of somewhere down the line, I was sort of invited to get involved in some of the script writing and the actual creation of the of the story essentially that um that went into the final piece and um yeah I, I really threw myself into into the role and um I saw it as a great opportunity to leverage um some of my experiences um sort of you know for I think at that time probably five six years into my actual career um as a whole but also through having a leadership role within our multicultural network and having spoken to multiple people um, through that capacity, I was also able to leverage a lot of other people's experiences and suggest it um, when we were sort of script writing at the time. And what that meant was that we were able to create something that was very, very authentic. And a lot of people really resonated with the stories and saw, saw elements of themselves in, in the character of art, which was brilliant. I'm sure this is a fairly unusual project for the team to have um, embarked upon, Louise. And uh, the interesting thing now about technology careers is really, if you don't get this right, the downside risks is quite substantial. If you don't have the right level of interdisciplinarity in the team, if you don't make sure that you've got the opportunity to bring the broadest set of stakeholders into the conversation to shape tech products in a responsible and inclusive way, they can go wrong. Uh, and this really evident now in the uh, rapid growth of many of these emerging technologies that we have to have a responsible, ethical and well-governed approach to this, drawing upon the greatest array of talents that we have both within and external to the firm. Um, Louise, could maybe just bring to life how you shape a project team like this? What skills do you look for and how you went about executing this particular one? I totally agree, Rob. Um getting the story right was very important and getting the people in. So at the beginning with the scripting with um, Sam and um, and the team, we looked at the different grades within the firm. We actually included um, partners, directors, senior partners, managers, all the way down to the associates level. We wanted to get the story. We want to get this right. And that's very important um, with the scripting and also getting the terminology, the wording, the feeling, the emotion in there, getting that right and having that in, within the script. Mm. And then um, with the team, we need to make sure that we had experts in the field that we wanted. We had to use volumetric recording, which is um, a green room with about 106 cameras in there, which filmed from different angles because we wanted to be able to walk around that character as well within that space. And that was important because we wanted also to get the emotional, the facial expressions from the actors when we were doing this. So just to see, really get that feeling in there and get the emotion out from the characters. And That's great. Mm. Absolutely. And then I think the most important thing is making sure that we have the expertise to build those environments as well, getting the right developers in, the designers in, and understanding what it, that environment looks like and how it feels as well. So it was a really big uh, role to play. It took quite a lot of months, but it was very important that we actually had the right expertise to actually build this. And we did. Um, and we actually produced something that was quite exciting as well. And case in point with Sam's involvement as well. But I mean, more professionally, Sam, as a, as a risk management expert, you must have seen the opportunity to bring this to bear in terms of how this solves for some of those harder problems facing our clients across all industries as well. Could you maybe elaborate further about how this is going to have an effect in terms of po driving positive outcomes for the, for the sectors you work in? I think um, quite a few of the um, themes that come out in the actual story are common things that are shared amongst our, our clients and the, the wider industry as well. So, you know, being able to draw upon the knowledge of the different people that were in the room has helped me and myself in being able to speak to my clients and understand, you know, different um, perspectives of different parts of our business, making me a bit more broader and able to bring some of that expertise to to my client conversations as well. Um, the actual... Um, Story as well and experience is something as well that we could potentially share with with clients 
So, Louise, uh, with the speed at which this technology is evolving, it's still relatively nascent in some applications, but scaling very, very quickly. What are you most excited about the opportunity with this tech now? What sort of problems is it going to solve and where do you see it going in the next few years? Very good question. So I'm very excited with the new um, rollout of hardware coming out, headsets and so on. That's coming out in this sector right now in the next few years as well. And really excited to see what else that we can create from not just the VR side, but on a mixed reality perspective, looking at how companies can, how we can help our clients with manufacturing, for example, with how they can actually train their workforce on the job. Um, and go forward that way. Um, it's really evolving as we're seeing this the next few years and very excited to see what we can bring to um, to our clients, but also to our own kind of workforce as well. Well, listen, folks, it's been a tremendous conversation. I think we can all agree it's a really exciting time, not just to be a technologist, but to think about a broader technology career that draws upon skills and talents from across all the disciplines to solve some of those hard problems facing society and business. Uh, but most importantly, doing this in a responsible way that really moves the dial and helps us to, um, I guess, create purposeful career paths for the people that we employ uh, as well. So listen, thanks very much for your time and uh, hope you've enjoyed this London Tech Week fast chat. Uh, thank you to Louise Liu, to Samuel Aluko, and uh, I've been Rob McCargo. Thank you. <laughs>